realistically a week in our life we'll eat something like have a freaking chicken wing eating contest and then and she'll feel so sick, sick afterwards which I is like i think they were poisoned checking back in we're still waiting in line to check in and i'm just laying here and i need to go lay down in the back put the bed down because but that means you gotta but this is realistic day in our life of eating a bunch of crap and then complaining about it after it really is <laughs> i was gonna turn off the truck but every time uh. i turn it off it just That was fucking... We're making a video of the first week in our life trekking and we're waiting for our food from Chili's. That just means you have a lot of options. We got but... yummy wings. So we're setting the truck up for a feast because we got, how much wings did we get? You're on a diet, right? Yeah, on I'm, always on, I'm always on a diet. Keto diet. <laughs> I'm always on a chicken wing diet. I got... Honey sriracha. And then I got a lemon pepper. And they all come with fries. Like, this is so much food. Oh my god, and I'm then so hungry. Buffalo. Since I've never got my Texas, I'm actually gonna go get some. Do you want ranch? Mm, no. You gonna put cheese out? Yeah. So today's Monday. We booked a load this morning. I was picking up in Neely's Landing, Missouri, which is kind of where we are. And then it's delivering to. Um, Salt Lake City, Utah. And then we tried to book a little over the weekend, so we ended up taking a whole day off, and it was so nice. We had a movie day all day and just ate and whatever. And so now we are back in the game, back to work on Monday. And we're gonna. Go this load doesn't pick up till five, so we're gonna eat and we're gonna see if we can do laundry and pick up some groceries for the week. Healthy groceries. Oh, we totally should. This is. What do you guys think about this video of us doing an eating competition? We could do wings, we could do... Um, let's talk about health for a little bit. So a lot of people ask us on Instagram and stuff like how we stay healthy. Do you eat? <laughs> nah, no one says that. Like, I don't look like I don't eat. I just look like I stay very healthy. And... Okay, so... I love just doing like crazy shit at the gym, so I work out like probably more intense than he does and when it comes to eating when we eat junk food we usually eat it together but the rest of the stuff that i eat are pretty healthy like i've been doing this new thing where i've been watching my sodium and it's just making me feel so much better okay. yeah meals like this we don't have every day but today just so happened we were having cravings and we we're it's starving rare. this morning we definitely always have healthy food on standby like in the fridge and freezer and then it's not about perfection for sure like we don't sit there and eat like you know perfectly healthy meals every single meal like we'll try to do just half or more than half let's say you have three meals a day two out of three are healthy and lean and protein packed like that yeah, was just like the first meal okay <laughs> this is what i look like after here watch my belly <laughs> Babe, Can we see? I do have a pot belly right now. Oh. <laughs> Ready? Go. Oh. Wait, did you hear that? Yeah, Go. that was your stomach. Go. Ew, that was what your stomach. One more time. Yeah, that was... <laughs> wait, wait, my... wait, wait, wait. Is wait. it mine? Wait. Is it your belly? Oh, wait. Wait. <laughs> I don't know anymore. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> We're gonna start our drive and I put my Duncan into a large QT ice cup. Ah, it's perfect. So I prepare myself with two bottles of water always, some kind of caffeine, usually coffee, and then um Oh, found them. They're hiding. Always have my 
AirPods ready to go. And then sweet ass driving oh, glasses. Oh yeah, I use my nighttime driving glasses a lot of times. I look like I'm like working construction right now. It looks like you're like a welder. All right, see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It's the second day of this week and we're making something really cool. Just made our first Woo! waffles. And this toaster. It's so crunchy and delicious. Mmm. Chocolate chip and blueberry. Mm. Yum. And it's then we're yogurt. having salad, yogurt, QT iced tea. A lot better at We got so much food again. Oh, it's so heavy. Why yeah, we and like a drink. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Okay, Country Pride. You don't even know the mm. half of it. But. Right above Paris, Salt Lake City. It's so beautiful. This is such a nice thing to wake up to. Checking into the car track. So much like weight off our shoulders still. We freaking got a door. Yay. 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 Without Yay. begging, because before we're like, come on, man, can you please? And like, oh. I'm right. so happy. So after this, we're gonna go to the hotel. We're gonna go work Whoa. out. We're gonna give this dog a bath. He's so stinky. Um, I'm talk I'm telling him how like before I got into trucking. I live like a pretty nice life and I had every opportunity every single day if I wanted to to wake up at like you know seven in the morning and go and work out um, I could have worked out every single day I could have made really really delicious healthy home-cooked meals I could have gone to do stuff and we were saying how when we have the opportunity to do everything in our life oh my god I I filmed that whole thing with my phone the wrong way. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> oh, it pisses me off. Okay, anyway. So, that we had the opportunity to do everything and we just wouldn't want to do anything. I don't know why we didn't do anything, especially me. Um, I had the opportunities to do, like, literally live my best life. And now, you know, babe, every time that we have, like, one night of a hotel or we have one day off, I don't mess around. Like, I'll be at the gym, I'll be taking a shower, I'll be brushing my teeth, I'll be doing something. Like, when I lived in Denver, there's times where I didn't, like, take care of myself for, like, almost a week. You just laid in bed. Like, yeah, you, you I wouldn't work, clean like, that much. Like, yeah. our house was, like, not even that clean for, like, how much time I had on my hands. I remember I used to go into that weird shit where, like, I'd come home from work and start cleaning up the house and, like, the kitchen and stuff. Yeah, well, I know why now. Because yeah. trucking makes me want to clean. <laughs> well, when we stay at a hotel, I freaking clean the whole hotel room and leave it cleaner than when we got there. I start to nitpick stuff when I'm in trucking and nitpick all these little things that I wish I could do or that, like, I want to be able to do and... I wish I can do that. I wish I can do this. Make a list. So when you get out of trucking or when you have a time off, you can go back and be like, oh, I wanted to do this. I wanted to do that. That's like, a good idea. Yeah. We should do like an after trucking list. or yeah, trucking days off yeah. wish list. Because I was literally just thinking like, you know, we were just talking about hiking the other day or like my bag or whatever. Like, yeah. I would love to go on a hike and we can do that on a day off. We can do it in um, California oh, before. Yeah. You know, that one time we almost went hiking in Ohio, do you remember? Yeah, that's not oh, Ugh, that would have been great. Okay, so the moral of the story is that in trucking and in life, there's days where you just want to give up and you feel like you are not living your best life and you feel like everything's going to come crashing down and burning and you should just quit everything now. And I felt that way earlier today and then I took a nap for like an hour and a half and I woke up and I was like, I love my life. It was the stupidest thing ever. Anyway, the moral of the story is a lot of times when you're just knee deep in trucking, you're gonna feel so ungrateful for so many things. And then you just gotta think about what life was before trucking. And you'll realize that life might be even better for so many reasons. And there's so many things to be grateful for. If we talk about now of like how grateful we are that like we can buy anything we need. We can go to the doctor when we need, we can if something breaks at our house, we can fix it. Sometimes you just need to take a really good nap and you need some sleep and you need some clarity and you need to reminisce on some grateful moments. I don't know how we're happier now trucking than before trucking, but a lot of times like find ourselves 
ourselves being really happy over really tiny things like my iced coffee it just makes me so happy and like getting a whole night of sleep makes me the happiest like literally just getting eight or heaven forbid nine hours makes me like ecstatic um finding a bathroom that's like really nice just makes me so happy because most of the time I'm like stepping in other people's pee and when I find a really homey bathroom I'm like oh my gosh that's so sweet that these people put all this effort into making their bathroom homey and nice at the truck stop because maybe they know you know like you've been traveling and you just want a little taste of home what else are we grateful for babe it's true like you know we're working towards something in trucking it's not the easiest lifestyle by any means it's hard as fuck sometimes but you know what yeah. we do have amazing times that we would never get if we weren't trucking like i always think of that shitty little barbecue joint in the middle of the mountains like would we ever go somewhere like that texas like we no. just see so we will, even if we were on a road trip i don't know if we would we ever. stop and like we see the most beautiful scenery and like we literally see america like it's so freaking lame but we're doing what people work their entire lives for and they're like oh we'll, we'll drive cross country when like we're old and shit like we're, and we're getting paid to do it i was so pessimistic earlier before i went to bed and i was trying to respond to everybody in my messages on instagram and i was super pessimistic because i was just really not feeling good i had too much sodium on top of it oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> That's yeah the sodium got to my head how much was it 11 chicken wings like a ton of fruit i probably fries. had like four thousand milligrams of sodium i don't know it was days i don't even think we should try I have to count to flush them. it's it so out of my bad. system and then i was feeling really pessimistic and then a part of me wanted to respond to these people that were like telling me their plans to go out and see the country and i get those messages a lot yeah. and i was just being so pessimistic and i refrained myself from being like don't you're do not it. gonna stay see home. you stay home you're not gonna see any of the country all you're gonna see is like the roof of your freaking sleeper all you're gonna see is the freaking pavement on the concrete because you're you know trying to make ends meet it's gonna be a long time before you like you know blah blah blah, blah. and then i was like I was, I was like so. 95% of trucking is gonna be interstate, just trucking. But then yeah. you know you get the little ones where you like you get those you times. Take a, you know, yeah, you take like a little off road, or you you know you check some more news. Sometimes like, like you'll be stuck somewhere, and although you might see it as a curse because you're stuck between loads, but really it can be a huge blessing because you sit there and you're like, well, now I have the rest of the day, and I'm in some random city and buttfuck nowhere. Like, what am I going to do? And then you end up finding, like, this weird little, you know, mom and pop shop with, like, weird food and ends up being, like, the coolest thing you ever ate. Or yeah, you or find like, a really cool park that you never would have found before. Or... People that have changed their lives, like, meeting mom. Yeah. Stuff, we, like, like, we've never met life-changing people before trucking. And ever since we got into trucking, all we do is meet life-changing people. Yes, I'd say we meet a lot more assholes and a lot more, like rude yeah, people exactly. and selfish people like we've never seen how selfish people are until trucking people are so selfish like not just truckers just everyone i mean especially car drivers they don't give a shit about anybody oh, gosh no, you know, yeah. sometimes it just rubs off on us these selfish like rude people and sometimes like you can't help it but be you know somewhat selfish back because you got to watch your back and you don't want people to step all over you because yeah. that's that's just terrible when you're out here by yourself and on your own. Since we got into trucking, we've met more like beautiful people than we've ever met, not on the outside. No. Oh, they're hideous, but they're yeah. like beautiful souls. We've never met so many beautiful souls in our life until we got into trucking. Like the randomest people, like these people that, this random person that works at like a truck stop or this random people that works at a dealership or this like God sent person at a TA at the service or like the truckers are so funny yeah. they're always like trying to get your phone they're number so they're genuine and they're so open and they're not afraid like it just shows really true strength they're not afraid to just be open with you and like vulnerable and they talk to you about everything and they don't give a shit like there's so many people at the same time and like they don't have a chip on their shoulder the world is and yes you can see a lot more negative because people are just because you're exposed to so many people and so much shit like you know what you see yeah. a lot of people that you never